Oh hi, Sawman here, and I'm back with another video. And today I want to show you how you can wield and use this legendary weapon. So legendary is this weapon, there's a big heckin statue behind dedicated to this ancient spear. Not only that, but it has a unique ability called the ancient lightning spear, where basically you throw a bolt of lightning at your enemies. So if you really want a cool weapon, I highly suggest the bolt of ground sacks, which is what we'll be looking at today. The key thing to remember with this is that it actually scales of strength and dexterity. So although you are chucking lightning at people, it's not an intelligent weapon. The lightning special attack ability does have a high FP consumption. However, there are talismans you can put on to try and reduce that. And there's also armor you can put on to increase your actual mind. So a couple of things I've done to improve the build. So first of all, I'm wearing the navy hood. Now, this might seem like a stupid thing to do, but if you actually have a look at the statistics, it actually increases your mind and i know it's not like a huge difference like it's only plus one but do you know what every little helps right in theory i could take this off and actually wear the old akina mask because this will give you a lot more dexterity but honestly it's uh it's up to you it depends which one you're low on i guess this is very much a high dexterity build you need 40 points in dexterity and 20 in strength to actually wield this so unless you're on a dexterity build there's probably a very low chance you're going to be actually using this weapon. In terms of talismans, I'm wearing the Warrior Jar Shard, which will actually boost your attack power or skills. So in theory, this should boost my lightning. Let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong. I'm also wearing the Radagon Scar Seal. This will boost all your attributes. I just generally put this on because why not? I have the Carrion Filigreed Crest. This will lower FP consumed by skills. And just for shits and giggles, I got the Blessed You Talisman. There are other stuff you could put on. I know full well there is one which will boost your actual lightning damage, but it will actually make you take more damage. I'm not sure where that one is, but definitely worth considering. And then my Flask of Wondrous Physic. I've actually got the Lightning Shroud and Cracked here, and this will temporarily boost lightning attacks. And this actually has a great deal of boost to it, which allows you to one-shot these little mole people. So definitely one worth considering. Anyway, that's enough of the sales pitch. Let me show you where you can actually get this weapon. And whilst I've got your attention, if you want to leave a like, maybe sub, feel free to do so. I'm not going to stop you. I would happily allow you to do that. Anyway, let's go get this weapon. So you want to head over to the Tree Sanctuary in the capital city. It's actually quite easy to get this weapon. No killing is actually required. Well, apart from the boss, which you had to do to get to this waypoint. But anyway, um, head straight forward for the door and you want to head down the steps. Let me just uh, speed up a little bit. You want to make your way down the steps to the lift and you want to take the lift all the way down to the next level. When you walk out the lift, the first thing you're actually going to see is the spear itself. That's obviously a statue of the spear, not the spear you're going to be picking up because that would be ridiculous. There are two enemies at the bottom of the stairs, but to be honest, they should just ignore you. Don't get too close and you'll be fine. And just head along this balcony bit here. There is a secret beetle here. I'm pretty sure you can figure out the puzzle how to kill it. Um, I just couldn't be bothered, so I carried on. And there you go. We're looking over at the spear again. And the reason for that is because the actual weapon itself is on the spear. So you want to make your way over to the bit where you can jump down, which is just here. Perfect. First go. And then you want to jump on the spear itself and head up it. And there you see that shiny thing? That is the spear. So we'll jump across. And I fell. What a dunce. Oh my god. Alright, let's try it again. Mm. After casually brushing myself up and trying it again, I'm just going to jump on the spear. Don't worry about full damage. As you can see, I am absolutely fine. And just carefully make your way up the spear. Try not to fall off because then you'll look stupid. As you can see, we make our way up, uh, jump over this little bit, and boom, we have it the Bolt of Garrix that is now mine. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get the spear and my general setup to use the spear. Let me know if this guide's been helpful. I kind of want to try a different approach of it by showing you my whole loadout, but I know some of you don't care and just want to know what a weapon is. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you on the next one. So with that, I'll catch you in a bit. Bye.